Drop it. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we input a character and display it on the screen. So first, we have our uh, text editor here. Let's save the file first. So I'll be saving it and giving it the name uh, exhgt2.assembly. Now, so let's start to write our code. Let's have here title. This one here is program to, to input a character and display. So here's our program. Next, we have our DOS segment. DOS segment. Then that model we're going to have is small. That stop we're going to have 0100H. And then we're going to have um, that data, that code, and we have your end. For our data, we need to, we will be having uh, two strings here string 1, db. Last time we have used 10 and 13 for our line feed and carriage return. Then we're going to display the text, enter a letter okay now you have to end it with a dollar sign let's have here sorry string one then this is string two dv 10 13 then we're going to have here the value entered is then we're going to display it. So this will be our prompt or message to the user. Okay. Next is we're going to use our at, at the reference. So to do that, we have your move ax at data, then move ds to uh, ax. Next, let's display this text here. So to do that, we have here layer, load effective address, dx, and then string 1. Next is we're going to display that particular string. So we have your move ah9 and then interrupt 21h. Next is let's input now a character. To input a character, we'll be using here 0, 01. By the way, I have a site here, this one here. Uh, these are different DOS interrupt 21H function codes. So before we have used 0, 1 for us to read the string. Then uh, uh, we, we're going to use 0, 1 for us to read the string. We already used 0, 2 to write character to the string. And last is we also have used 0, 9 to uh, write string, uh, string to standard output. So this is the site. I'll uh, post the description. Uh, I'll post the link in our description in the description box. Now let's continue our code. Now we're going to have our input. So move ah01, then interrupt 21h. Then if you use here, if you use here uh, 01 that reads the uh, data. Let's say we read the data. That particular data is stored in our AL register, okay? So all the data that we input, let's say here, for our 01 is stored in our AL register. So what we're going to do is, we're going to move the data that we have input, let's say move BLAL. So we're going to transfer the data that we have AL to BL. For the reason that, let's say there's another input, we don't want to override it, okay? Now, I'm going to show you another code here. Move AX03, interrupt 10 H. Okay, this command here sets up our, uh, wait, let me have this uh, uh, remark, clear screen. Okay, this is equivalent to using CLS in DOS. 
Okay. Next is we're going to display now this particular text, this uh, string two. Now, uh, Leia, uh, dx, Leia, dx, and then the string two here. Move ah nine, interrupt twenty one. Okay. Next is we're going to display now the input value that we had. To do that, we're going to call our um, move 0 to move ah2. This one now, display a single character. Okay? Then move dl. Since uh, we already stored our character here, so we're going to call it. So move dl bl. And then interrupt 21H. Then last, we have the uh, terminate or exit. Move AH, 4CH, interrupt 21H, and then interrupt 20H. Okay? So, this is our code. So, let's recap. We have um, the seg at the title. The segment, this is small, stack, and then data. So we're going to print out string 1, string 2 with the value of enter, enter a letter and the value entered is. So this will be printed out on the screen. Next is we're going to uh, use this code in reference to the string 1 and string 2 so that we'll know where we save it as sort of a pointer, okay? Then um, this one here displays the text that is string one so enter a letter this section here allows us to input now a character okay so move uh, using move a h01 the three the, this reads a character and then um, execute it uh, all the data that we have will be stored in our al register so this line here moves the value that we input to our bl register this code here is sort of a clear screen, okay? This one displays the text. So we're going to clear the screen, and then after that, we will be displaying the text here, uh, which is the value entered is, then followed by the value that we ha have inputted. So we have to call move ah2 that displays a single character. Since we stored it already to our BL, then we're just going to display it. Then last is to end the program. Okay, so let's try our code. Let me save it first. Let's open our DOS box. Let's mount our drive. Now, since we have here our file exhdt2, let's show directory exhdt2.assembly. Okay. Ah, no, sorry. We have to mount, go to our drive first. Okay. Then directory exhdt2.assembly. There we have our file. Let's um, compile it. Tasam exhdt2.assembly. Okay, there's no error. Then let's link the file. exhdt2.obj. Then let's execute by typing the file name exhdd2, enter. There. So we're being prompted to enter a letter. So let's say we input letter A. The value entered is A. Okay? So once we input we input the value, it automatically this is our input value here. Then once we input the value, it stored in our AL and then we move it to our BL. It automatically clears the screen and displays the text here, which is enter the uh, the value entered is, and then this one here displays our output, which is A. So here's another program in assembly language. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you like it. Bye.